Hello Mass Attacks here and welcome to the 10th anniversary event and today we're going to have a look at a battle from the tier 2 Russian light tank the T-45 before we get into the action I'll show you my crew and equipment that I'm using on this tank My crew on this tank are quite good considering it's tier 2 they're all onto the third skill they are for me LTG the equipment that I'm using on this is vents. So let's have a look at the battle. Today I'm playing on Himmelsdorf. It's a standard battle and we're all tier 2 today, so a good test. So I want to head to the alleyway where the heavies generally go. And I'm going there because the armour on this tank's really good. You do get decent penetration with this tank and good armour, which makes it really good at this tier. I find it's my favourite, out of all the six tanks you get for this event, this is my favourite, tier for tier. Now a T-45 on my team's pushing forward, so I'm going to follow him. Looks like he's moving into the field, he is, so I'm going to make my way behind this rubble, so I can be hull down. See if I can get some shots into this Panzer 38H. Straight through his gun mantlet, so I know I'm going to be good here. What it is with this tank, you do get 51 penetration, which I can see is really good at tier 2. And you get an alpha damage of 47. With my crew and equipment, I've got a reload time of 3.45 seconds, which gives us a DPM of 817. Although the dispersion at 0.38 isn't great, and I've got an aim time of 2.3 seconds, which is also not great. But I am picking this 38H off. As you can see, straight through the side of his turret. Not a problem. I'm bouncing a lot of shots from him. Although I have taken one and I've taken him out. So I'm just nudging forward. I'm still hull down. That TKS-20 is going to have no chance penetrating my turret. So I'm just popping out. Try and get a shot into him. Pull back. I am concerned of the T-45 because I know he'll be able to damage us. This little TKS-20 has got absolutely no chance against us. His armor's not holding up to us, and I tear him apart, and that's him finished. Now I can see the front track. If he keeps on showing us that, I'll be able to track him and penetrate. Haven't managed to track him yet, but my shots are going in. Missed there. That is the dispersion of 0.38. But I've got the side of his tank, so I'm tearing him apart. He's not doing anything to me. Just checking in case anything's coming behind because I know the enemy team have got the field and my team don't look like they're doing too well. So I'm going to see if I can get his bottom plate. I couldn't. One through the turret. Tried. It was no good. There's a TKS 20 behind us. So I'm going to turn round. He will penetrate at the back of us but he's not going to penetrate at the front. Shot into him. He's only a little tank so I rammed him. Couldn't get a shot in there. I'm bouncing his shots, I have taken his shot, I've gotten another one into him. There's another one into him. Can I finish him off? He's taking a lot of fire. Another shot, he's tracked in position. I could probably just ram kill him. But I'll quickly get a shot in, head back, and here's the T-45. Getting one shot in, and finished him off. So now I want to get back into the street, into cover. I want to get to the end of the street, get that M2 light to help me team. But I can see a TK coming behind us. There he is. Pop out. Bit of a snapshot. Went nowhere near. He's going down that street. So I'm going to focus on the M2 light again. He's only a one shot hopefully. There he is. Missed the shot. Just going to fly around. Snapshot him hopefully. And I've taken him out. Now I can turn around. Focus on the TK. It's come behind us. There's one shot in. I bounced his shot. The TK is similar to this tank, you could say, but this is far superior. It's got far superior armor and far superior penetration. So he's going to have a real big problem trying to take me on. He's only got seven hit points. It was a mistake I'm going into the field. So I pop round the corner and snapshot him out. The difference between these two tanks where I have 51 penetration, that TK only has 41. And then I'll tell you about the armor on this tank. On the hull you get 25mm on the front, 
15 on the side you also get 25 millimeters at the rear and on the turret you get 35 millimeters of armor all the way around where that TK has only got 12 millimeters on the front of the hull and turret 10 millimeters on the side of the hull side of the turret He's only got 8mm on the rear of his hull and 10mm on the turret. So his armour is basically half what the armour is on this. So this is a far better tank. What you do struggle with is mobility. Especially going up these hills. You do get a top speed of 41 kilometers an hour. And a reverse speed of 15. Which being a light tank isn't the quickest but it still isn't too bad and I've got a view range of 320 meters and it looks like their last enemy T45 is back at his base so I don't think I'm going to be able to get round help with the battle anymore. We are capping, looks like the T45 is resetting and he's been taken out. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was a Masters, he is tank reward. We've got the cool headed. You've got to survive at least 10 ricochet or non penetrating shots in a row from enemy players. We survived 28 non penetrating shots. We've got the high caliber for our 1193 damage and the top gun for our 6 kills. Top of the tray for XP with a BSXP of 1144. Top for damage. We made 27,000 credits plus 8,065 XP but that's due to playing a premium vehicle, a personal mission payout and an award for the first victory each day which was a times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, I hope you enjoyed it. I can't say new players enjoy in this event, all the experienced players playing at lower tier. If you're new to my channel please subscribe, there's a little icon on the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons or the comment section below. Cheers.